When Senator McCain was stumped by a question almost every other American could answer in a split second, how many houses do you own, there was a silver lining. That would be the complete burial of his answer and his continuing absence of any real clarification. When a New Mexico voter called for the reestablishment of the military draft and McCain said he did not disagree with anything she said. Our fourth story on the countdown, the McCain camp has finally responded to a request for a clarification, but by itself that clarification may have just further muddied the waters. A nearly two-minute question from a woman in New Mexico began and ended with a reference to McCain's promise to follow Osama bin Laden to the gates of hell. It weaved through health care, illegal immigration, and then ended with reintroducing the draft. Yes, Senator McCain, I truly hope you get the opportunity to chase bin Laden right to the gates of hell and push him in, as you stated on your form. I'm, I do have a question, though. The disabled veterans, especially in this strait, have horrible conditions. Their medical is substandard, and our vets can't even get to a doctor. And these are the people that we tied yellow ribbons for and Bush patted on the back. If we don't reenact the, the draft, I don't think we'll have anyone to chase Bin Laden to the gates of hell. Ma'am, let, let me say that. I don't disagree with anything you said, and thank you. Uh, and I'm grateful for your support of all of our veterans. I carry with me quite often a quote from, General, from George Washington in 1789. He said, the willingness with which young Americans will serve their country in future wars is directly related to the treatment of those who have previously served and sacrificed in conflict. He was right in 1789 and he's right today. The rest of McCain's answer was about veterans and health care. More than 24 hours after the fact, campaign spokesman Brian Rogers finally offered a comment to Countdown, which is, quote, Senator McCain was obviously speaking about veterans' health care, as is absolutely clear if you actually read question and answer in full. Senator McCain has been clear and consistent in opposing a draft. But Senator McCain has been anything but clear or consistent in opposing a draft. Last September, McCain, recalling that the last selective service system in this country had loopholes, like the ones Dick Cheney and George Bush used, said, quote, I would consider a draft if it could be made fairer than the Vietnam-era version in which many avoided any risk of being called up using deferments. And in June, also asked about the draft, McCain replied, I don't know what would make a draft happen unless we were in an all-out World War III, a quote which itself is perhaps fully understood but only in the context of his reaction in July 2006 when asked if he agreed with Newt Gingrich when he said, we're in the early stages of what I would describe as the Third World War. McCain answered, I do to some extent. I'm joined now by John Soltz, Iraq War vet, co-founder and co-chairman of VoteVets.org. He's in Denver tonight. John, good evening. How are you, Keith? Uh, despite the, the Brian Rogers dismissal of this, given the context of what McCain's previously said about a draft, does this look less and less like uh, part of the I'm not listening tour? Did he mean this? Look, I think he meant it. I think that this was the John McCain that many people in the military liked in, in 2000. I certainly agreed with everything that the, uh, the woman said. Uh, it's just that his political consultants obviously have, have you know, tried to get a hold of him here, and, and, and they changed the guy. But the point is his plan. His plan that he has on his website, that equals the draft. So nobody should be afraid to take him on on this issue. That was him being intellectually honest. Obviously, his political people aren't happy with it. If this is a policy statement or if it was a, a secret piece of policy escaping, um, what do you think the consequences would be politically? Politically, it's not good. I, I think it's important to understand, though, that it is what his policy is. You can't keep 90% of your army, all of your combat brigades, either in Iraq, going to Iraq, just home. You can't take his plan and go two brigades uh, in Afghanistan, up to five brigades in Afghanistan, and raise two more divisions here in the States uh, without the draft. So I think it's a political problem for him because it's an issue that affects every American here at home. Uh, you know, the National Guard and Reserve are devastated. A lot of units to go over to Iraq. We take 25% from one unit, 25% from another, 25% from a third, and send it over. So it's, it's, it's a huge problem for him politically because it brings the war home uh, to some very core constituency groups uh, like women voters and young students that could come out and vote against him for it. And what do, uh, let's talk about that larger, let, uh, for some reason, let's say this happens. What, what do votes, uh, what do vets, what do acting servicemen think of the prospect of a draft of changing the volunteer army that has, uh, uh, despite all the strains put on it, uh, accorded itself so admirably, especially in the last seven years? You know, I, 
vote vets and, and myself, you know, we encourage a lot of people to serve in the military. We think it's, it's a great profession. But overwhelmingly, the men and women who fight for our country are against the draft. And we know the McCain plans is more overextension, more George Bush policies. And I think that's why you've seen so many uh, members of the military, by a six to one margin, make donations to, to Senator Obama. But if you're in the street in Baghdad right now, or you're taking a convoy from Baghdad to Balad, uh, you don't want a, a soldier in your convoy who just doesn't want to be there because of the draft. So overwhelmingly in the military, uh, our service members oppose it. Put all, uh, John, put all of McCain's pronouncements about wars and the military and now this slip in, in New Mexico about the draft. Tell me how this all adds up in your mind, your picture of, of a, the military aspect of the United States of America under a McCain presidency. You know, I actually, I don't think this is a policy slip-up. I mean, this is policy mm -hmm. fact. The McCain plan equals the draft. And it's up to the Democrats and the news media to hammer him in on that. I think it's a political screw-up. I mean, because the guy doesn't know the difference between the Shia insurgents or the Shia militias in Iraq and, and al-Qaeda uh, in Iraq, that's not necessarily something that affects a woman who's a core constituency voter uh, in the state of Ohio. Uh, but for the young voters that need to come out and put Senator Obama in the White House, uh, it's really important to them because they need to understand if they don't vote for Senator Obama and they do vote Senator McCain, uh, they could end up in Iraq. John Soltz of VoteVets.org, with a very serious topic that we're going to continue to discuss here until it is resolved one way or the other from the McCain campaign. Thanks for your time tonight, John. Thanks, Keith. Funniest dog.